Hello guys, welcome to another React Native development tutorial. My name is Lawson Luke. So in this video, we'll be looking at how to create an iOS splash screen in React Native. Now, when you launch your React Native app for the first time, especially when you're launching it on um, the iOS section, it's going to show you this um, default splash screen here, which usually picks the name of your application and then it shows you part by React Native. Um, so we're going to see how we can customize that to show and what we want probably um, replace this here with our own image and um, probably just um, generally um, customize this screen to see how it works now if I try to run this application um, here real quick um, okay so we're gonna see um, the demonstration of what I'm talking about now see what I'm talking about here so we're going to see how we can customize the screen um, to uh, put what fits our application. Um, so let's dive right into it. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is to open a project um, in Xcode. Now go to that um, your folder where you have your project. So this is my folder here, it's my React Native project. So click on the iOS folder. Um, so we're going to open a project with Xcode. So this particular one here, I'm um, called Flare um, Workspace. Okay, not the project now, but the workspace. So um, if you do that, you're going to have this section here. And um, when you come to this section here, click on this um, shared um, show project navigator. So you can see here, show project navigator. So it's going to give you um, all the necessary things that um, we'll uh, be customizing. So the first one here, this is the launch screen, which you can see what's been shown here. But uh, before coming to this launch screen, what we want to do um, is to add our image assets here, like what we'll see shown on the screen. So uh, you can see this app icon created by default. But we're not going to use this one. We're going to create our own because what I've found is that um, using this one usually does not... Um, get called when we want to um, call that particular assets on us on our launch screen so we're going to um, create us you know to create a new um, um, icon screen what we we'll do is to click on this um, plus sign down here so click on it so see I'm uh, creating new image sets so say new image sets and so here we have it and um, a new image sets so you can see so what we we'll do is to drag um, those are images you know here and just kind of um, the image we want to use as the splash screen so we're going to drag them in and put them here so but they have to be resized anyway okay so but now that does not mean that this app icon image set does not have any relevance whatsoever it actually does especially when you want to upload your app to the app store you'll be required to fill all these um, image specifications especially this one um, 1024 by 1024 which is usually demanded I think by all um, um, application stores even um, Google Play actually demands this one as well so you require to fill these ones and just size the image accordingly um, for this one here um, this new image set that we just created I will be required to put in images here um, one one um, X 2 X 3 X and um, universal according to um, Apple's developers websites you can see that here it says the standard resolution for this um, 1x image is 100 by 100 pixel and the 2x version is 200 by 200 pixel and this one is 300 by 300 pixel so what we'll do is to take that image we want to use as a splash screen and size them accordingly um, now you could have um, a conversion uh, to here image size and two um, simple image resizing I'm not affiliated with these guys by any means, but I just feel they have a good um, software that can convert um, your images or size your images um, if you don't actually have one that you use, so you can try them out. I'm so here, so I already have my images that I want to use, so I'm just going to put them here quickly. So what I'll do here is to drag the images. So for um, this one, I'm just going to drag them. Yes. Um, drag this and then drag this, and then see so we're basically done I'm with this one here, as you can see. So, next, I uh, will come to this launcher screen. 
right here I'm going to make the changes for um, this one here so what I want to do here is to get rid of this um, text here and just click on it and press delete um, key and keyboard and so what we'll do um, here is to add our image widget and just go and click on this plus button at the top of this frame here so we'll click on this here you can see uh, we have several widgets that we can use you know but what we want to use um, is an image and so we can start typing image here say so is an image view so we'll drag this here okay so I'm gonna leave the background as white because I want it to be white um, here and um, but you can actually change the background too if you want to um, here so I'm gonna uh, I want to position this right at the center which you can see where the vertical and the horizontal lines cross so it's right at the center here okay so what we can do next um, is to add an image um, to this um, particular um, image view that we just um, called. Okay, so what we can do next is to um, click on this here and this arrow icon um, which shows the attribute inspector. So we're going to add our image to this um, um, view here. So we'll click on this here. So you can see it's picking now the image set that we created, which I told you earlier on that you won't pick the image um, the default um, app image icon set. So you need to create um, a new image set here. So I'll click on this. So you can see it picks it now appropriately. Now the last thing I want to do here before running it is to make sure that uh, it scales accordingly. Um, so it's not pushed to the left or to the right. And despite the fact that we've centered it horizontally, uh, there's no necessary guarantee that it will show um, um, it will launch um, directly at the center. So to ensure that, we just click on this ruler icon here. Okay, and you can see here this is how it will be displayed for now. Um, by default. So I want to change all that. Um, I'll just click on this point here to remove them and to make um, them just be directly uh, at the center. So you can see here. So these how um, as our splash screen shows when it's launched. Okay. So let's go ahead and run this application and see um, how it works out. Okay, so you can see here, there we have it, guys. Okay, so as you can notice, that our app icon is actually not getting picked because we, what we have to do is to fill up that image set here for this app icon here. So it's very necessary um, for your icons to get picked. This is necessary for this plus screen. Um, this is necessary for your icons, like I told you. And, and then even if you're launching a place on the App Store, you actually need to fill this up too as well. So we're going to fill this up and see if we can get um, a app icon um, to actually show here like these other ones here. Okay, so the images have been added successfully. So what I'm going to attempt to do is to run it again and see. And I'm just going to review this. So you can see it's getting shown um, now. All right, so this is it here for this tutorial so very um i'm educative i hope so so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more exciting content like this <laughs>